Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce to you an amazing innovation of modern science. <laughs> Surprise! What's up? What's up, you guys? Steve Funky Yo here, bringing you guys another deck profile. I know I've been floating my channel with a lot of deck profiles, but this one is the king of them all. First place, uh, E Dragon deck profile. Bro. Dragon Bro. Rulers for you who are Bro. Asian. Bro, what is for the 1K? Yeah, 1K, uh, Yu Gi Oh tournament at 2 Max in Morganton, North Carolina. I won 50 dollars. Uh, I played 3 Max C's in case I played it against anything that, you know, like, especially something like. I played against Agents. Like, so, like, you played like, against Agents? Yeah. What? I play against okay. Agents. Turn it upside down. I mean, it's they kept summoning right? Sean Balls, dude. I just couldn't get around it, so <laughs> Maxi saved me. Uh, you couldn't get around a Shine Ball? Dude, no, nah, like, so you can summon this and crash the Shine Ball as well, so I mean, it seems like it's pretty good. Uh, the Effect Grailer? I don't even really see why I even played this card. It seems like it's really bad. I mean, I did. Effect Grailer did. Some guy. What is it? Don't worry. Some guy did summon a. Uh, a breaker on me, and I had to break the skill face, face down, so I had to save it one time. So the effect load did come in handy one time. Yeah. Uh, the scarecrows. Um, usually I just discarded it with uh, Redox because I never really needed. I mean, I never really needed them. Uh, Redox has a big defense, so it's basically a better version of Millennium Shield. So, <laughs> so you, you can. Well, no, because rejuvenation, yeah. you can double yeah. stack, and then you can just set them, and then you can draw two cards for rejuvenation. And then they can attack. In, yeah, I see. And, and it doesn't bounce back to your hand in the end yeah. phase. And then you have titles. Uh, I don't really play anything that like is beneficial from his effect, so I usually I just decide to retain him in my hand and just wait till some something better came along. Uh, Tempest, you can basically use his effect to search any dragon, which is uh, kind of awesome because I would always use it to search the level of fire guy and synchro for a starter's dragon. Flame uh, guard, right? Yeah, flame guard. Yep. And who said that was a bad card, Ben? Shut, shut your mouth. You did. Uh, I play blaster. Um, I use his effect. I got around problem cards. I mean. I had a I probably, yeah, I had a pretty tough matchup with Murrells, so I could destroy their limbs with this. And it, you know, yeah. uh, it saves me from having to attack into it. Uh, I play two lightnings on the lands up. Uh, lightning, I mean it's the baby dragons. They're not as good as there's my lightning. If you notice with the artwork, if, if you actually look at it, you probably laugh. Like I promise. Uh, I played this guy because you can rekindling. Yeah, he has he has 200 defense. So you go for rank three plus. Exactly. I trolled so much with uh, the reaction. This is my favorite dude in the whole deck. He has 1800 attack. So I mean, if you're ever playing against like Infernities, like Spencer, my friend, you can crash with the Archfiend, get it off the field. Or if you're playing against something like, I mean, it's not big enough. It's not big enough to get over a Thunder King, which is unfortunate. So I mean, he, I might, I might cut him eventually. So. Uh, stream. It's probably the best card of the deck in my opinion. Uh, it's starts out your title, which I mean, title is kind of useless in your hand. So if you can get this out really early. Get, I'm getting there. That happens all the uh, only bad part is they can't attack, but uh, you, can, you can overlay, and you can overlay for the Gaia Charger, the level 7. Uh, it, it does piercing Rank damage. Seven. It can also get over like big beaters like the Skullark Chain of Lightning and Summon Skull, like when they dump, like they sack for it. So it seems like it's... <laughs> Did you ever go Abyssalar with stream? Uh, I don't play Abyssalar. I feel like it's they can play on better cards, like 10 Archduke. So, uh, the one flame of our guard. Uh, mainly, I use this because most people play a bunch of... He doesn't of play Abyss Dweller. <laughs> um, I mean, I, play, I played a bunch of people who like may, played Thunder King on me, so I would just set this. They wouldn't see it coming. They would just attack right in. Like, they couldn't get... How are you going to get yeah, around that? Yeah. There's, there's no way to get around that. Um, that's, that's probably saved my ass like four or five times a day, so there's no way to really get around that. It's probably one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's also Bacon vanilla. So you should like play three of them. Uh, you can use this gold sark out your like your stupid rejuves and stuff. So whenever you kind of get them. You can so gold so the flame the, the so why do you only play one flame ball guard? I know a lot of people uh, with e dragons nowadays are playing rescue rabbit and three flame ball guards, so you can go rabbit and go double crimson blader. Uh, well, but see, I just I just didn't figure like rescue rabbit. It's just not it's just not a good card. I mean, overall, it's it seems like it's it's just very subpar versus a bunch of decks. Yeah. I mean, that's why that's why you know. In this scenario. So three uh, super rejuvenations. I found this card to be dead a lot today because most of the time like I didn't really have anything to discard because I wanted to keep on monsters in my hand. But I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really feel like I mean, like the title. I mean, unless they played something big, there was really no point in me trying to get over. It. I mean, I pretty much just cruised all my, my match victories. So I mean, Super Rejuvenation was like I mainly used it as a bluff. Like I would set it, and people would think it was like a breakthrough skill or something. So I mean, it, it never really. Yeah. Seemed like, it's really good. I would, Dark World. I would, it's yeah. Dark World. I mean, yeah, it's like. I had a guy playing Dark World first round, he, he card destruction me, and I had it face down as a bluff, and it kind of worked out in my favor because he discarded like four dragons. And then, but I ended up decking out, so it didn't seem as good, so. 
Um, anime controller. Uh, the card is really good because I mean, the only problem the only problem I ran into today was I played with like, a blindly loyal goblin. You couldn't take it, so I, I was kind of stuck. I was stuck on a stream and a controller, so I, mean, yeah. I couldn't really do anything. But other than that, it was pretty live all day. Uh, it helps you get around a fake railer, which is actually the first series and they said all this time. So that card is really good. I'd probably play like six of them if I could. Uh, the, the Sacred Sword, it's exactly what it says. It's pretty much a sacred. It's really it's good. I mean, it's, it's a sacred sword. Uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna cut the rejuvenations for three of those, <laughs> if I can. I mean, it, it's just too good not to play. Um, so you're gonna cut two? I think you should uh, cut the third one for another final go. Uh, I played two breakthrough skills as well. Um, I don't really like this card ever. And I mean, I played it against Evil Swarm, and I mean. It just Wait, just killed their caster. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> and they still got it to fake, and I just couldn't do anything. So I mean, I still, I still came back because luckily the guy didn't play the opponent's kind of extra deck. So I mean, it was his first round, so he was pretty bad. He I mean, made into, uh, it was pretty. Uh, it just. It just he ever, he ever for a first round Maestro. We played just a bunch like, of stuff game one. What? It seems pretty good. Well, once, he, once he summoned some of the caster and uh, break the skill, he told me that I couldn't do that. So I was like, well, there's no point in even playing this card. So then he made a Maestro. And luckily, I somehow got around it with a uh, I double sacked off for Redox and turned it to attack with enemy controller, and it, was, it lost 600 attack because it, I had to face up a. Uh, Mine's cool. The, the thing that modifies levels. It was, it was it was okay. I wouldn't recommend playing any of these. I'd probably cut them. Yep, indeed. And it glows. The side deck, uh, electric virus. So when I played against gadgets, <laughs> where's my other electric virus? They're there. Okay, yeah. Um, I didn't really side deck this in. The only thing I played today was three mirror matches, so it wasn't very good in that, in that matchup. Yeah, it's hard. Um, the exploder dragon. So, like the exploder dragon, it's really good whenever you're playing against opponents who are like playing like the big like like fuselor dragon and skill drain and stuff. Like I had that happen a lot, so I think that. Yeah, there, there were a lot of skill drain decks here today. I played against one first round. They were like got one attack for it. So I was like, well, I can't get over that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel. I feel like it'd be. I feel like I'm just like, like, like smashing ground or like. I don't know. Like. Yeah, maybe, smashing ground would get around. I feel like Inferno Tempest would be a lot better choice. So. Or Macro Cosmos. So. Uh, the skill drain versus. Uh, How did you mess that up? What? I organized it and everything. <laughs> uh, the skill drain. Uh, I saw the skill drain versus a bunch of like the like. I played a bunch of Destiny Hero decks today. Like I, I felt like that was gonna be a big issue. Because they have they have one of them that can half your life points if you, it actually goes off. I think it's called Dogma. Yeah. So that's a pretty big problem for Elemental Dragons because they don't have much defense. So if they resolve a Dogma, you pretty much have half your life points and you it's pretty much over from there. I mean you can't really do anything. It's 3,400 attack. Well, it's so. Half your life points for a thousand life points. Exactly. And it, after you pay, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'd much rather take a thousand. Uh, also, also Plasma is. Uh, my friend Ethan, I was actually not playing this card before like I played, played this with my friend Ethan. The card is really good versus Evil Swarm. I would probably side deck the third one in all seriousness. Uh, heavy Storm. That's right. Uh, I don't really like Heavy Storm. Um, I saw like every game, like all I played was a bunch of back row, but I just felt like every time I had it, they had Starlight Road, so I would just never play it. I would just like, I'd hold on to it until I made it out the Starlight Road. Yep. But I didn't play anything else that would get rid of the Starlight Road, so I ne was whoa. never. How would you bait out a Starlight Road other than Heavy and Dark Hole? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't play Dark Hole, so like I would always just hold it in fear. Like I didn't really have room to play it because I felt. Final Destiny, the card. <laughs> uh, just five. Uh, that actually happened to me earlier today. Uh, Final Destiny, I had, I had a full board of stuff, and they Final Destiny me. They're playing Dark Road, so I mean, it kind of worked out. The Eradicators. Uh, I side deck this versus the Mirror Match to hit their Super Rejuvenations and their Gold Sarks. So I mean, it wasn't really. I mean, the only decks I played today is, like I said, I played the Skill Drain decks and the Prophecy decks, which that's not very good versus that, so I just I decided I would just keep it inside the versus that. Uh, yeah, Dark World, like, that deck was just retarded. Um, so I think three of teeth. I mean, because whenever whenever people make the, uh, like, the Shard of Greed is just such a good card. Like, there, I have really no outs to the Shard of Greed other than just push that thing. I didn't play any Shard of Greed today, so I didn't really side deck the in versus anything, but if I did, I'm, I would be really glad that I had it. Uh, onto the extra deck. Oh wait, and I'll play this guy. This is right through skill. Uh, just, honestly, I just didn't have anything else to put in there because I just felt like my deck was too solid. You decided it against else. Evil Storms for Caster, right? Nah, I mean, it doesn't I mean, work now. Yeah, uh, I played Armor and Arm because uh, I, I just felt like I could I could synchro sense. with one of the tokens and then overlay with another level four for an Abyss Dweller. That's my favorite card. Um, <laughs> you said you weren't playing Abyss Dweller. <laughs> uh, uh, Stardust Dragon. <laughs> Uh, it stops your power from destroying stuff, so like it seems like it could be really good. And like you know, when you're playing against stuff that you know has like good on chain links, like Atlanteans. So I mean, it stops like mark like marksmen and all that stuff since you play a bunch of face downs. 
like when you set your like for example I synchro for this twice whenever I had my face time rejuvenation like as a bluff and I thought it was something legit because I had a starter in the field so I mean I made this probably more than anything like I don't know why I played this card today like it was I didn't make it one time I mean it just it really, I played two of them because I, I felt like I was gonna play a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play one. I felt like I was gonna play a lot of Mecha Phantom Beasts today that make the level sevens. So I mean, I didn't play one of them at all. So I couldn't, I couldn't really make it. It wasn't really useful. Mecha Phantom Beasts break, make break sevens. Not yeah, they don't. Well, uh, uh, the Abyss Dweller. It's. I mean, the Abyss Dweller was incredible all day. Like I, I would make it with like, like I said, I would sing her for Armory Arm and then overlay with the uh, the stream, which made it like twenty two hundred. And I mean, it, that's a pretty big wall to get over. So, how many times did you negate Dandelion today? I didn't play any Dandelion decks. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping to play Plant Synchro, but I didn't. I, mean, I um, almost played it. I almost didn't play this. Too expensive for I a I almost didn't play this today. Um, however, it, it did get me, like, it was, there was one time I did get me, it did, like, let me attack over Stardust. I mean, other than that, it was pretty, I don't even know what. Nah. It's gonna, probably going to be dropped for something better, like Gaia Dragon. Like, Gaia Dragon got in there all day. Like, I'll pierce over tokens like four or five times for the victory. So, I mean, it just... It's it's okay. I mean, I'll, I would maybe play one. Uh, you have a third in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scrap Dragon, like... Uh, I didn't really see any use for Scrap Dragon. Every time I make a Scrap Dragon, I would just make a Stardust and, like, you know, do whatever else they had. Or, other than that, like... Like I said, I thought I was good for that a lot more. I mean, it was never really relevant. Like, I popped it off my Draco sack one time to like kill their summon skull. So I mean, it, it actually helped because I felt like they had a mirror force face down. Yeah, I, I remember that round four. I think the guy saved no, seven. No, it was round four. No, it was round four. The, the guy saved seven the summon skull. Well, he had four back rows. It turned out he was playing. He was playing Medulce, so he was like playing like Medulce knights and some other random shit. But I mean, if it had been a mirror force, I'd have lost instantly because I mean the Draco sack. I mean. I had two tokens, but I mean, if he if he had especially if he had dark reinforced me, it would have banished my tokens and would have killed the Draco sack. So I just I couldn't risk it honestly. Uh, the guy dragon, probably the best card in the whole deck. Like I, I wish I played three of these. The card was so good for me all day. Like, and I played in time three times, and I won every time because I would just pierce every stuff with guy dragon. Um, this guy was kind of irrelevant. I never went for him. Never went for him. Um, the best guys. Uh, I would find myself in the middle of games trying to find ways to make him because he's really cool. Uh, there's only one real way you can make it. And that's if you double sack for for title and then monster born, which I don't. I don't even really play it, so I don't know. I played the best guys in the extra deck, but I mean, I was kind of running out of space, so I played that. And then I played the classifier. Fighter. Uh, you mean Samus Aran? It's Samus. Samus. Yeah, I made it one time and I crashed into uh, crashed into a Crimson Blader, so I mean, it saved me in that situation, I guess. So that's uh, that's it. Wait, wait, we gotta do shout out tokens. Oh. Um, I played Umbreon. It's not affected by it's not affected by Psychic, so it's pretty. Good. I mean, mm -hmm. and then I played the Slow King, so those are my tokens. All uh, right, thank you guys for watching. Hold on, I have a question. Okay. What if you had Draco Sack? You used this effect twice, and you had more than two to make more than two tokens. Did you have any more token cards you could have used? Well, I try to I see. I put myself in the best situa situation to win. I try to usually try to avoid situations where I don't have tokens because I would probably forget. So. I kind of try to avoid that. Like there was times I could have made double tokens, but I mean I was just like, it's not worth it because I don't have two more tokens. So, I mean, yeah. honestly, if you don't have, if you can't afford to get tokens, then it's just not even worth making the Draco sack. Like, I honestly wish I just played a second guy charger. So sometimes you would wait until your tokens grow out before you make more tokens. Yeah, that kind of came back to bite me because like they would just attack over when I had no tokens. So <laughs> like, they would they would like crash with a token and attack over the Draco sack and just like I just don't see why the card is so expensive. It seems very lackluster. I mean, yeah. I made it, I made it twice all day, and I, I only needed extra tokens at once. So I mean, I play, played it pretty well, I'd say. Um, by, by far, the best card of the day was probably Super Rejuvenation because it was the best bluff ever. People thought it was something really good. Uh, although, you destroy the scrap rat, scrap rat. You can destroy scrap rats from other cards. Um, I would I would probably play something more relevant, like I would think like Bottomless or Torrential maybe. But I mean, or mirror force. No, nah, mirror force isn't good because I mean, people play stuff that like, like their dragon set can. Star like, road. Star road exactly. Star road. Well then, fine. Play I didn't play heavy strong cards. Yeah, uh, yeah, overall, like I felt the deck was pretty solid choice today. Uh, it was it was between this and, pl and playing the shape snatch OTK. Uh, I don't know, but anyways, that's the one deck. I got first. <laughs> <laughs> For emphasis. I mean, the deck's very generic. I don't think I need to give an explanation of any of this, so... Okay. But you did. Yep. Yeah. But you did. But you're just trying to validate over Shape Snatch, so... Yeah, so... Well, 
Well, did you play against Snake Sense? Did you carry? Can you stop filming me now? That would be awesome. <laughs> Alright, Steam Funk Yu Gi Oh! Out. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later, YouTube.